Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a quick video showing you how to take one social media graphics designed in Canva and then create multiple social media graphics for different platforms with the same design in just a few minutes, if not less. Um, so in front of me, I have a Pinterest um, graphic, a Pinterest pin graphic, and it's um, size is 1000 pixels by 1500 pixels. That's one of the sizes that Pinterest recommends. And I have a decent enough uh, pin graphic here. I quickly designed it, so don't judge me on the design. Um, and I didn't use a template, but you can use a lot of, like there are templates available. For example, if you go to design, the design tab on the left, and uh, the new panel shows up, um, opens up, and it has a lot of different types of Pinterest um, templates. You can also search for um, Pinterest to specifically show you um, popular Pinterest templates. And uh, you can choose any of these templates, or you can design something from scratch like I just did right now. Anyway, um, this video is not about the design part, so I'm gonna. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about that. So let me just show you how to quickly create multiple social media graphics for different platforms using Canva's built-in resize function. Um, unfortunately, the resize feature is available for Canva Pro members only. Um, so if you are on a Canva free platform, I will link to um, my uh, affiliate link uh, for Canva. It's a little different. Um, it has it gives you 45 days of free Canva Pro trial. So if you don't want to, you know, uh, commit to um, Canva Pro quite yet, you just want to test out the features, then go ahead and click that affiliate link below. And it should give you 45 days of Canva Pro trial. Uh, for completely free and it will have it will unlock for you all the different Canva Pro features including the resize function that I'm about to show you. So uh, this is like I said a Pinterest graphic. Now uh, this is a 1000 pixels by 1500 pixel graphic. Now if you want to change um, or not change, if you want to create additional graphics with the same design for, let's say, a Pinterest um, a longer pin, like Pinterest has a longer version, or um, if you want to create Instagram Reel, for example, um, or if you want to create um, Instagram Story, um, maybe a Facebook post or maybe an Instagram regular post. How do you go about doing that without having to create the same design from scratch every single time? Especially, you know, it just it wastes a lot of time if you have to do it from scratch every time for, you know, um, different social media platforms. So here's the resize option that's um, unlocked for all Canva Pro members on the top left side corner next to home and file. If you follow my mouse, the yellow blob right here, it says resize. So when you click it, it gives you, it shows you the size that I have right now, which is the 1000 pixels by 1500 pixel. And then it shows you some recent sizes that you have worked with. These are the sizes that I have worked with in recent days. And then if you keep scrolling down, it gives you all the um, different sizes that Canva um, already has. Now if you if you have a specific size in mind, like um, if you want to create something that doesn't conform to uh, one of the uh, doc types that Canva has available, then you can go ahead and do a custom size. So for example, you can do like 2000 pixels by, um, I don't know, um, 4500 pixels or something. You can do that here. But for this video, let's just go ahead and instead of using a custom size, we're going to use some of the um, available sizes that Canva um, has for us. So I'm just going to uncheck it. 
we're not changing to a custom size we are gonna choose from this list instead so um, I want to do Instagram post a square post I also want to do a presentation side um, slide size um, and I also want to do an Instagram story so these are the three sizes that uh, let's say that I I need to create so I will check those sizes um, and then I will click copy and resize um, but before I click that I just want to show you one quick thing um, if you don't have multiple sizes selected if you only have one size selected or if you have a custom size selected then you have two options available copy and resize the first one here or just resize so if you click the resize option what happens is that it resizes your current design basically this design will be resized to whatever size you have chosen but if you do copy and resize then your original design remains intact this size remains intact and then it creates additional copies of the same design with the um, you know the the sizes that you have um, selected now uh, let's go back to resize again and we're gonna choose Instagram post uh, let's also choose Facebook cover actually um, and uh, let's do presentation and let's do Instagram story so four different sizes so when you choose multiple sizes uh, obviously it can do multiple sizes in the same design so it gets rid of the copy option and just shows you copy and resize so I'm gonna click that and my main design this master design will remain intact and it will just create additional copies of the design with the specified sizes and it will open up different tabs for each size, uh, each size that it created so this is the um, uh, I'm assuming which one is this this is the pin um, our original Pinterest pin and this is the Instagram story this is the presentation this is the um, Facebook post and this is the Instagram post how do I know because each copied design copied design has already created a file name that has that that lists what it is that that tells you what it is so Instagram post Facebook post right here you can see it um, on the top right corner if you follow my mouse so that's where that's how you know which one is which so this is Facebook post because it shows here in the name the name of the um, file now you can obviously change that um, let's say that I just want to make it um, Facebook so you can do that but anyway that's not really important right now so um, the thing that I want to point out at this point is that you have successfully created these different um, graphics that uses the same text the same color scheme and the t same um, image um, basically your branding uh, remains intact your design remains intact it just changes the sizes to um, you know uh, because you specified those sizes when you resize them so it's an easier way to create different versions of the design now the one thing you want to you know you want to be careful about is that once it resizes the design may not look as nice as it did in your original um, design so in this one the Pinterest graphic that I had um, that was 1000 pixel by 1500 pixel everything looks nice it's pretty tight design it's compact um, but this one for example it has a lot of white space available like top, the top and at the below at the bottom so you have to kind of play around with it still to make them look perfect so for example um, I want to bring these down a little bit and then bring this down a little bit too and then I want to select these and then bring them up top and then make the image a little bigger like so so that now this is also a pretty tight design and actually maybe I want to make these a little bigger you know like so and make this a little bigger too like so 
All right. So this is now uh, looking much better, I think, than what we had before. Um, maybe this is a little bigger as well. Okay. Yeah. So see, um, even though I had to make some changes, but it still took a, it. It was still a lot faster than if I had to make this from scratch. So that's one of the cool things about the resize function um, that Canva Pro members get to enjoy, um, because if you do a lot of, you know, similar looking graphics for multiple platforms, then this is one of the ways to make your work process a lot faster. And I can do the same thing for the other graphics as well. So this is the presentation one. Um, so maybe this one, um, I keep the same design or maybe I move the graphic all the way up here like so, and then move these to the side like so. Um, and, you know, depending on what you're designing, your design will uh, be different. It will look different like that. And like so. And maybe make this a little bigger as well. Left align it like that and move it up top like so. Like that. And that looks much better for a presentation slide um, than, you know, uh, all centered design like this one, for example. So like, you, like as you just saw, like even though I changed quite a bit of things in this one, the presentation, it still took only just a few seconds to do that as opposed to if I had to design it from scratch. And you can do the same thing for these ones too. So this is a Facebook. Um, so I can do something similar like this and maybe make it bigger a little bit. Like so. And maybe extend that. And then the last one is an Instagram. And for that one, maybe I get rid of this um, and uh, maybe, I don't know, what should I do with Instagram? Maybe get rid of this too. Um, and let's see. Maybe something like this yeah and make them smaller and get rid of this get rid of this and let's just say how to build your email list from zero to one thousand in under hundred days like that center aligned maybe make it um, not bold yeah much better zero to 100 in under hundred days Okay, how to build your email list from zero to 1000 in under 100 days. And this is the Instagram uh, design. So as you can see, I just created four different things in just a couple of minutes uh, with the same design. And all I had to do was use the resize function like this and choose the sizes that I want and then click copy and resize and boom, you have 
four different graphics in under a few minutes. And that's it for today's tutorial and hopefully it was helpful to you. And again, if you don't want to um, sign up for Canva Pro quite yet, um, you can just click the affiliate link below this video in the video description and that should give you 45 days of Canva Pro trial for completely free so you can, you know, um, check it out, play around with all the Pro features and see if you like it. And if you do, you can always, you know, upgrade um, at the end of your free trial. And that's it. I will see you in the next video shortly. Bye!